Hello and welcome back to my channel. And so we shall continue to detail the panels of the reinforced concrete slab plan. And before we go on, I'd like you to click the subscribe button. And also, you can click the share button so that others could have access to this video. So um, let's look at the second panel. Now, from what we can see, it's a one-way spanning slab because the ratio of the length of the longer side to the shorter side is obviously uh, a factor there. And so what this means is that we are going to have a main reinforcement parallel to the length of the shorter span and so it's going to be parallel and then it's going to move across horizontally from the orientation of this uh, drawing workspace and so this means that the distribution bar will be placed at right angles spanning from this point to this point and it will be parallel to the length of the longer side and so we can always illustrate this by drawing we can start by drawing a reinforcement from this point to this point. And so this is going to replace or uh, depict the main reinforcement. While the distribution bar, we can do something here in order to save time. I may decide to copy this one and move it to this axis and so it saves us time the only difference will be that while our main reinforcements will be having a diameter of 12 mm for the purpose of this uh, drawing our distribution bars are expected to be of a smaller diameter and in this case we are going to adopt 10 mm reinforcement bars so we should take note of that and so what this means is that i have already drawn this so what else can we do now notice that the second the main reinforcement bar does not have any callback like what obtained here and here and the reason is because the reinforcement, the main reinforcement, spans into a continuous slab and also a continuous slab here as its neighboring, you know, slabs. Unlike in the case of where the slabs are discontinuous here, as well as discontinuous here. And that was why the uh, reinforcement was made to, you know, uh, be placed and arranged in this way and so it was called back into the system and then the this was made to play the role of this part was made to play the role of the top bar while this one will play the role of the main reinforcement at the bottom so when we are drawing our section of the detailing you will understand this better so what this means is that this reinforcement bar will only uh, be made to connect into its neighboring um, panels okay and this was also adopted for the distribution bar here so this was also made to uh, bond into the next or neighboring uh, slab I mean, um, panel. So, the next thing we must understand here is that the orientation of the first panel is geometrically similar to this panel. And so, what we are going to do is that in the course of our work, we are going to design this panel and also this panel and 
design this and design this and then we are going to mirror the reinforcements we have so that we will have something similar on this panel and this will save us time and so this is how we are going to do it so for me to uh, detail these reinforcements remember this is a two-way spanning slab and so what we are going to have is that we are going to have for the horizontal member all i just need to do is that i can copy this reinforcement this one and bring it down here and i can also bring it down here now the only difference is that remember that they are both main reinforcements so but i need to change them back to i need to change them to main reinforcements remember that there are two ways spanning slab so they should be similar the only difference is that the spacing we are going to look at all that in the course of our work so the what about the vertical components what it means is that i'm going to have a reinforcement somewhere around here coming down so i may make it extend a little into the neighboring panel and so what this means is that remember this is a two-way spanning slab this is continuous this is continuous and so there will be no callback so that is for the panel now this one here remember that we have a discontinuous area here so we can do it one of two ways i may decide to mirror this so that it comes out here or i can just draw it so because of convenience i may decide to draw i may decide to um, probably extend from here and uh, Sorry, I'm going to repeat that again. So, um, so remember the return. So, we should have, um, if this is somewhere halfway, we should have a quarter, probably somewhere around here. And there you have it. So remember that the drawing seems to be kind of, uh, the line weight seems to be tiny. And that's because we switched off the line weight. So if I click this on, you will see that this will appear. And this will be done after all the detailing had been carried out so for me to produce this part all i need to do is to mirror what we have so uh we can go ahead to collect all the reinforcements that we want to mirror and press enter and then we're asked to specify a base point and oh sorry sorry let's repeat this process oh, probably because of our time we shall continue in the next video